Hello students, welcome to the second video on human eye and color to world, chapter 11 for class 10. In this video, we will learn about the defects of vision. Human eyelids are convex in nature. The image formed on retina are real and inverted. Signal of this image are sent through optic nerve to the brain, which converts this image into erect as we see it. If the image is not formed on retina, it results into blur vision. Following are the main defects of vision in human being. Myopia or nearsightedness, hypermetropia or farsightedness, presbyopia, cataract and color blindness. These defects other than color blindness can be corrected by using spherical lenses. Image is formed on the retina with the successive refraction. Retina acts like a natural screen. Neural signals from here are sent to the brain. When the image formed falls short of reaching to retina, it is called myopic eye. That is the image is formed before the retina. The light from a distant object arriving at the light eye lens may get converse at a pointed front of the retina in the vitreous body. This type of defect is called nearsightedness or myopia. As shown in the first figure, the far point which in a normal healthy eye is infinity is short of infinity. That means as in the second figure, the rays coming from the infinite distance form the image not on the retina but in the region of vitreous humor. So in my pick person cannot see distant objects clearly but he can see clearly the objects which are near to him. The reason for myopia is either the focal length of the lens of eye is too short or the eyeball is very much enlarged. This defect can be corrected by using a concave lens of the suitable focal length as shown in the bottommost figure. Let us now try to understand another eye defect, hypermetropia or the long sightedness. This is a common eye condition where nearby objects appear blurred, but your vision is clearer when looking at things farther away. The near point for a person is further away from the normal near point, which is approximately 25 cm, as shown in the figure over here. Person is not able to see the close objects clearly, but is able to see the distant objects very clearly. In case of hypermetropic eye, the image of the object is converged behind the retina as shown in the figure. This defect arises either because of the two reasons. Number one, the focal length of the eye lens is too long, so the image is formed behind the retina, or the eyeball has become too small, so it is not able to capture the image formed. This defect can be corrected by using a convex lens of the appropriate power. You must have seen many old people to keep the book or the material to read slightly away from their eye. The higher distance they are keeping because their eye is not able to autofocus the nearby objects or their eye is having a problem called press myopia. Press myopia is also a easing eye condition where the lens has lost its autofocus capability. In this problem, the naturally occurring lens becomes hardened because of the aging, the muscles around the lens are not able to relax and contract as the need is. As a result, the ineffective lens causes light to focus behind the retina, which causes poor vision for the objects which are close by. 
in the first video we have learned that our retina has cone cells which are responsible for the identification of the color if these cone cells are not properly developed or in sufficient quantity we are not able to identify or distinguish between the red blue and green colors and that deficiency is known as color blindness human eye cannot see or distinguish between the colors when there is a uv light whereas bees which are having more number of cone cells can identify colors even in the uv light this slide sums up all the visionary defects myopia hypermetropia presbyopia and cataract which can be corrected using the spherical lens type of the lens for myopia is concave lens for hypermetropia is convex lens for presbyopia is basically the bifocal lens and the cataract is replacement of the natural lens with the artificial lens using the surgery before we close to understand the concept let us try to solve two numericals first problem read says a person needs a lens of power minus 5.5 diopters for correcting his distant vision for correcting his near vision he needs a lens of power plus 1.5 diopters now the question what is the focal length of the lens required for correcting first distant vision second near vision here we are provided two data first power of lens required for distant vision p1 is equals to minus 5.5 diopter second power of lens required for near vision correction p2 is equals to plus 1.5 diopter based on the data we are required to calculate focal length for near vision and distant vision power of lens for the required distant vision correction given here is minus 5.5 f is equals to 1 upon p we put the value of p is equals to minus 5.5 so we get f is equals to 1 upon minus 5.5 solving this we get f is equals to 0.18 meter with negative sign similarly we can calculate for near vision lens the power given over here is plus 1.5 put that in the formula f is equals to 1 upon p that is equals to 1 upon 1.5 solving this we will get focal length f is equals to 0.67 meters so for correcting near vision we need focal length of 0.67 meter for distant vision the person requires minus 0.18 meter these are our answers we now move to the second application problem question reads as the far point of a myopic person is 80 cm in front of the eye what is the nature and power of the lens required to correct the problem first we try to understand information given in the problem given here that far point is 80 cm so the person can see things without external lens with clarity up to 80 cm distance we are also told that person is myopic so he would need a concave lens to correct this defect far point given here is 80 cm that means the person needs a concave lens whose focal length is 80 cm or minus 0.8 meters now we know the formula power p is equals to 1 upon f putting the value of f we get p is equals to 1 upon minus 0.8 removing the decimal we will get 10 upon minus 8 solving it we get p is equals to minus 1.25 diopter that is our answer thank you very much for watching this video if you liked it please subscribe the channel thanks again